What is the question, Mr. Chair? Are you rebuking this committee? Why am I supposed to rebuke the committee? I am you not. You have been saying things for a while. <laughs> Ito ang AJ Bueno Vlogs. Mga kaabangers, naging tensyonado ang mga kongresista sa pagdinig ng House Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability. Pagkatapos magsalita ni Sagip Partilist Representative Rodante Marcoleta, na kinikwestyon ang privilege speech ni Manila Representative Rolando Valeriano na siyang basihan ng investigasyon at ang paggamit ng pondo ng OVP. Ayon kay Marcoleta, ang titulo ng speech ni Valeriano Yano ay hindi dapat asserting the power of the purse of Congress dahil wala naman umanong kumakwestyon sa kapangyarihan ng Kongreso na gumawa ng panukalang budget ng gobyerno. ...of Her Excellency Vice President Sara Duterte to take her oath in today's hearing in the conduct of inquiry in aid of legislation is an affirmation of her stand her position during the budget briefing of the OVP. And this representation wishes to manifest that when the resource speaker does not take her oath, then it follows that whatever statement she will provide, we call it, it could not hold any water. That being not under oath, the same cannot be used as an evidence in any inquiry, in any proceeding, Mr. Chair. In other words, her refusal to answer in the last budget briefing of the OVP is tantamount to her stand in today's inquiry of refusing to take her oath. That is for manifestation, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, Just one question. Please. Yes, the Honorable Marcoleta. May I offer a counter manifestation, uh, Mr. Chair? Later po, uh, one minute na lang po siya and then Kasi I will recommend. Kasi para makalimutan yung continuity ng yung flow ng discussion, I'd like to ask only, Mr. Chair, by way of manifestation, is there anybody who is questioning the power of the purse of Congress? Is there anybody who is questioning the legislative function and oversight function of Congress is there. Because if there is none, then we are not supposed to uh, uh, overextend the discussion or any manifestation because nobody is questioning that. And I think nobody could question that. E even the privileged speech of the Honorable Valeriano. I think the proper question there, the proper title is not asserting the power of the purse. We should not assert it because that power is inherent in us. Asserting or not asserting that power is of no moment. Yun po ay birthright. Yun po is inherent right of Congress. And let me make a record. The office of the Vice President, to my mind, did not undermine, did not undermine the power of the force. When she personally came in the first hearing, and presented herself, including the budget, by way of a PowerPoint presentation. She made a presentation, Mr. Chair. And after that, she made a categorical statement that she, she said, I forego, Madam Chair, I forego my opportunity to defend the budget of the office of the President by way of question and answer. And instead, I leave it to the discretion of the House of Representatives on their decision to decide on the proposal as presented. This is a very respectful answer, Mr. Chair. I did not find any offensive remark in that particular statement. She gave the entire House of Representatives the entire discretion, the entire right to decide on the proposal she presented before us. Why would we blame her for saying that she disrespected Congress? No, sir. I think it was triggered by the fact that questions were asked in relation to the, in, to the confidential and 
intelligence funds. To my mind, Mr. Chair, these particular funds were subjected to a notice of disallowance. But the notice of disallowance by its nature, by its very nature, Mr. Chair, is contestable. It is appealable. It is yet to be explained. And initially, as explained by the representative of COA, the notice of disallowance suffered by way of supporting documents, by way of non-compliance with certain requisites. What if the Vice President is able to provide all the supporting documents? What if finally she is able to come up with the requisites required in order for you to, com to, to consider that all these funds are eventually are allowable and they are not disallowed? And chances are she may be able to do that. Hindi po final judgment ang notice of disallowance. As a matter of fact, based on COA's own representation the other day, the Vice President received the notice of disallowance only on August 24, 2024, which means, Mr. Chair, the Vice President has six months within which to reply and make an answer. That is correct, Madam COA. So six months is up to February 2025. We should give her all the allowance. We should all give her the time. Because six months is six months. So why are we rushing to make a judgment? As a matter of fact, as I have already initiated earlier, Mr. Chair, when you said that anything we can discuss in this committee, provided it is of public interest, and you said that intelligence funds and confidential funds are public interest, but I said, because of our own rules, we should make a prior and preliminary determination that is directly and principally connected to malfeasance, misfeasance, or nonfeasance. We have not made that determination. How can, how can we now begin questioning whether or not the intelligence funds covered by an initial notice of disallowance is already re directly and principally connected with nonfeasance? or misfeasance, or malfeasance. Madam Koa, how many agencies of government today are subjected to notice of disallowance? Do you have a number? How many and agencies Mr. today? Chair, With all due respect to the honor uh, but, but that is a question I will leave, and I yes. will terminate my, but, my, but, my manifestation, Madam. Yes, but I will, uh, I, believe, I would Mr. like to Chair, respond. I this is still my time. Yes, but I would like to respond to your uh, manifestation, uh, Congressman Marcoleta. Bigla naman nagsalita si Manila Representative Bienvenido Abante at tinanong si Marcoleta kung kinikwestiyon ba o sinasaway nito ang aksyon ng mga kapwa mambabatas na pumabor na investigahan ang paggamit ng pondo ng OVP. Sinagot naman siya ni Marcoleta ng patanong, dahil pareho nang tumaas ang tono ng mga mambabatas, ay sinuspinde ng chairperson ng komite na si Manila Representative Joel Chua ang pagdinig. Let me... Parliamentary inquiry What is the parliamentary inquiry of uh, the Honorable I would Honorable like to Abante. ask the Honorable Marcoleta, is he rebuking this committee? What is the question, Mr. Chair? Are you rebuking this committee? Why am I supposed to rebuke the committee? I am You not. have been saying things for a while. What? You have been rebuking this committee. You we were not, we not blaming the Vice President on this. I, I, Honorable I Marcoleta, I we are the not I blaming the right to suspend. One minute, one move minute to suspension is the game, Mr. Chair. Move to suspend. Before I recognize the Honorable uh, Congressman Luistro, let me first uh, uh, respond to the manifestation of the Honorable uh, Marcoleta. Um, let me cite Section 4, Rule 4, Section 1, last paragraph, which uh, provides that the filing or pendency of a case before any court 
tribunal, quasi-judicial or administrative body shall not stop or abate any inquiry conducted to carry out a legislative purpose. What we are doing right now is we are doing our mandate. This is... Uh, this hearing is in aid of legislation. So, wala pa naman po tayong uh, inaakusahan dito. The fact that uh, the issue is still with COA and is still pending appeal, it does not stop this committee from conducting an inquiry in aid of legislation to conduct or to carry out our legislative purpose. Habang nakasuspinde ang pagdinig, nilapitan naman ni Abang Lingkod Partilist Representative Joseph Paduano si Marcoleta. Misto lang magsasabong, ngunit napigilan ito na magkalapit ng mga kapwa mambabatas. Ang kanilang girian ay hindi natapos sa isang pagdinig at nasundan pa ito. Why the chairman only speak? Hindi ba kami pwede sa lugar? We are also members of just the same. Dati alam mo yun. Alam mo yun. Kanda ba yung chair ka na tansin yung query? Did he have the answer? Pwede. Ang pinag-uusapan natin ang chairman ang sasagot? No, no. Not only the chairman. Ang pinag-uusapan natin ang chairman ang sasagot? Ayun pa, kin. Ayun ang salita na ngayon. Hello mga kaabangers! Inaanyayahan ko kayo na manood ng aming vlogs araw-araw tungkol sa isyu ng mga nangyayari sa ating bansa. Iba na ang may alam. So paano? Hihintayin kita. Dito lamang si AJ Bueno Vlogs. Napanood nyo ba ang buong balitang ito? At nais nyo ba makapanood ng bagong balita araw-araw tungkol sa nangyayari sa ating bansa? Ang gawin mo lang, pindutin ang subscribe red button sa baba at huwag mo rin kalimutang pindutin ang bell icon, pati na rin ang nakasulat na all para ma-update ka sa aming mga bagong videos. Maraming salamat ka, Abangers!